Hey guys, it's Kelly. So, I can't sleep. And I've been looking at this plant. And it's a very pretty plant. I mean, look at that. That's pretty. But it's only pretty from the top up. The bottom, I don't, I don't know what's happening. All the leaves fell off. And, I mean, we got roots coming out the bottom. Like, this is just... This is a mess. We gotta fix this. So, I've been looking up other videos. Because nobody really talks about the zebra plant. Or, like, how to... How to propagate it or anything. So, a couple of videos I did find. If I can remember their names. In, or if I can find them, I'll put them in the description below. But, basically... From, uh... What I saw in the videos, look how pretty those leaves are. Like, can you see how pretty? Can you? Anyway, it's basically you just cut it up, you know, under the node, and then you just throw it in some water. So, that's what I'm going to do. Also, uh, the video that I saw, she had cut it and left part of it in the... Um, the pot and that had also started growing out more leaves so I'm gonna try that too so looking at this I'm going to see how many pieces I can cut so these are the two newest leaves there's also a new growth point there so I'm gonna try to get this node actually no take that back I'm gonna keep these four top leaves I'm gonna cut below this node, knock off these. I'll keep them on just to see what happens, but they're probably gonna fall off. But I'm gonna stuff this part in the water. And then this next part, this part's already missing a leaf, so that's the node I'm gonna stick into water. And then all of this is bare root, so, I mean bare stem, sorry. So I'm just gonna cut it, I'll try it, I'll try it here, stick this all in water and see if I can get any roots. And then I might cut it again and stick just the stem in there, see what happens. I'm just going to stick the stem in the soil because I don't think that's going to really do anything, but we'll see. Just another look. Look how pretty. It's so pretty. Like they, It really is like a very nice looking plant. Alright, so... I also have some of this rooting hormone. Can you see? So I think I'm going to dip the ends in real quick and then throw it in the water. But yeah, so we'll try. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, let's do that. All right. You ready? I hope some of this plant survives. <sighs> and the plant is cut. So I'm going to stick this. See, I need this part. I'm going to try like this. Because then that gets more of the node. Just gently, if we can, push these up. I'm going to dip it a little bit in here in the rooting hormone. I'll just take all this and kind of just stick it in there. I might have to add more water, but that's the plan. So I'm going to do that two more times. This top part will die off, and then I'll just clip it. Let's see if I can. Ugh, they get so stiff. I don't want to snap off the leaves if it'll live, but probably won't. All right, let me first cut it, and then I'll see if I can get it in there. I 
I had to map off that leaf, but I'm really going to try not to. water so that they're touching all of the nodes and then so I just got this stem it has a good root system I mean it's coming out the bottom so maybe it'll grow more I don't really know this is more of like a woody part of the stem I'll try oh, should I? I don't know where I should put I'll try that and this I doubt will work but We'll try it and see what happens. And then I'm going to cut this part off because that's in between the nodes and nothing's going to happen on that. All right, so that was quick, easy. Let me close this before I spill it. And hopefully I have a zebra plant in a couple of months. Yeah, wish me luck. All right, peace. Let me know if anybody else has done this with the zebra pant and has success. Or if I'm doing something completely wrong, tell me so that I can fix it and hopefully, hopefully save my plant. Alright guys, peace.